eight community-based organizations were awarded $1.5 million for public infrastructure projects. Mayor Johansson and DPW made the announcement today. Now, those organizations are on your screen, marked with yellow, a yellow diamond. You can see it right there. The funding is from the Indianapolis Neighborhood Infrastructure Partnership. Now, this will match the grants, making for a total value exceeded $3 million. Wow. Projects include the construction of three intersections on Lafayette Road between 16th and 13th Streets, new sidewalks, accessible ramps, and crosswalks. I think one of the best aspects of this of this program, besides the private-public partnership, is the fact that these priorities are are advanced to the top of the list. So these projects will be done as soon as reasonably possible, which means the world to those neighborhood neighborhoods who have been waiting 30, 40 years um, for residential improvement. The program is in its fifth year. It, it was funded. It has also funded 53 projects all across the city. Are you help? IU Health released plans for a major expansion in Fishers. The health system will invest $287 million to grow by nearly 50% and double its workforce. Around 50 inpatient beds at the hospital will be added and grow existing special, specialty programs. The investment will also create an off-site outpatient physician office development. And IU Health Saxony Hospital uh, campus will also be renamed IU Health Fishers. IU Health plans to break ground later this year. Completion is expected in 2025. Ilanco broke ground on its $100 million global headquarters. The site will sit at the former General Motors stamping plant just west of downtown. Ilanco is currently based in Greenfield. According to Ilanco, the headquarters will be an epicenter of animal health innovation. The company says the 220,000 square foot building will span across four acres. Indianapolis has committed $135 million in tax breaks. Construction expected to start in the coming months and will take two to three years to complete.